Hey guys, Ramen King here with another Story of Seasons, a wonderful life video. Today we're going to be looking at 5 changes and updates in this remake of Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life and what we know about so far based on screenshots and information from the Bokumona website and Twitter. Number 1. Stone Paths While scrolling down the Bokumona website looking for any possible changes there could be to crop farming, I did notice that in the watering section we can see brick paths laid down. I'm not sure if the player does this or if these get generated around seeds that become trees, but I think it's a good way to help you not plant any other kinds of seeds by your trees, as trees need one square of space in between itself and another seed, or it won't grow. Number 2. A bell to call your animals. Do you remember how you used to have to press a button on the barn wall to let your animals in or out? Well, this has been replaced by a bell to call your animals back into the barn or let them out. When you think about it, what did the button actually do? Did it ring an electronic bell? Did a crane pop out of the barn's roof and become a huge claw machine for cows? Who knows? Number 3. Character Customizations We're getting bigger customizations in terms of gender and how your character looks. You can officially have a male, female, or non-binary protagonist. With that change, I'm sure that will also change your pronouns in-game during any scripts that reference them. We also see from the screenshot that there are a couple tabs for hairstyle, hair color, and clothes, so we will be seeing some options for those, which I'm super excited for. Number 4. More events. In my top 10 changes that I want to see in the remake, I mentioned that I wanted more festivals. Well, I may have gotten my wish, and we are getting 70 more events, guys. Holy crap, that's amazing. And this may not necessarily mean that there are 70 more festivals, and this number may be including random cutscenes, but hey, that is 70 more events than we had before, and I'm all for it. Hopefully these events aren't all thrown into one year, or hopefully some of these events are strewn about in different chapters, as it would make continuing the game in later chapters so much more playable and fun. And finally, number 5, the bulletin board. Looks like we have some kind of bulletin board. I'm not sure if it'll be used for DLC, delivery quests for more money, or general news about the town, and what could be happening like somebody moving in, or an event coming up in the week, but I'm definitely curious as to what kinds of things will be on the bulletin board. Overall, I'm really excited about what I'm seeing, and I'm really hopeful that this remake does the original game justice, and might do it even better. I can't wait to experience all the new events that I'll be putting into the game. And that's the end of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know down in the comments what you guys think about these amazing changes. And I'll see you all in the next Story of Seasons, a wonderful life video.